Hey, my name is Jesse. I work here in OCRV Center and I'm the electrical technician. So um, I was told to give you guys a walk around of a few things that we have going on now. And this is typically, typically like a job that comes to us from a customer that um, just doesn't really want to buy a brand new coach because one, it's very pricey and two, they don't get what, it, what they exactly want in the coach. So come on and I'll show you. So this is a um, mid-2010 like uh, cross-country coach. Um, basically what happened here is the, uh, the customer bought this at a cheaper price, of course, and he uh, wants to basically use it in the uh, desert area and the dunes. So what he asked us to do is that he doesn't want to run his generator all the time while he's out there. And, but he still wants to use his, um, his TV, all his uh, 110 outlets, all that good stuff. So we opted out to um, give him a new um, inverter, a 3000 watt inverter, which is gonna power up all the inside. And we also decided to, since he wanted to run everything inside at the same time, uh, we needed to upgrade his battery system. We took out those two um, Group 31 batteries which are basically nothing compared to what we have in now. We have uh, four L16 batteries. And that's gonna allow us, or the customer, to run all his stuff inside without running the generator. So that was one thing. So the next thing was that we needed to keep those batteries charged. So what we went ahead and did is we installed a, um, a solar system. We have three 390 watt solar panels up there with an 80 amp uh, charge controller. And a good typical day, it's, this thing is gonna be charging at at least 50 amps of charge constantly. Uh, that's good because uh, when this customer goes out with his toys, he parks his coach, he takes his toys out running, and when he comes back, the batteries are fully charged because they've been charging all day long. So when he comes back, he's gonna be able to run everything inside with no with no generator and of course him being out of the desert there's no um, shore power connection so that's what he wanted and that's what that's what he's going to get so that's on the outside here so let's just go up on the roof and show you what the solar panels look like so we're up here on the roof of the same cross-country coach uh, these are the 390 watt solar panels that we installed uh, like i said this should at least give them um, on a typical day a 50 amp charge constantly just keep them nice and clean, and they'll be good forever, I guess. Um, we also um, added his, uh, removed his uh, air vents. Uh, he wanted new ones in there. So that's the bathroom vent. Uh, what's, we just replaced it with a new one. He had power there already, so that's a power vent. This one here, we're going to replace with a power vent unit. Now the issue here is that he has no power here in this area. So I'm gonna go inside and um, just run new power to this unit so that when you put the new one in, he's also he's gonna have a power vent on this side too. So this is the top of the coach. Very simple, but works great. All right, so we're now inside the coach. Uh, we're gonna, this is a com almost complete teardown. Uh, we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna install new flooring. We're gonna take the carpet out. We're gonna put new LVT flooring. Uh, Based next on that thing is that we're also gonna change the um, the window shades because of course they're broken and a lot of them don't work. You can't pull them back up, so we're gonna be able to change new shades along with uh, balances. Well, it's gonna look real nice because we're gonna change the fabric on it too. Um, if you come further this way, a lot of this um, tube lighting it's outdated. Uh, what we do here is we take those out and we install a new LED lighting. Uh, we can we can either um, manufacture new fixtures with new LED lights on or just get a new one with um, LED lighting on it. The customer also decided to take off his um, refrigerator. This is a propane power refrigerator, but it, they're kind of they're very inefficient because they take a long time to cool. So what this customer wants, he wants everything to be um, within an hour or two after turning it on. He wants everything cool inside because he just likes to get up and go. On this type of refrigerators, it's recommended that you turn on the refrigerator a day before you actually take off on a trip so you can load it up. So the customer say he doesn't want that, so he wants this out. 
he's gonna put a residential refrigerator inside, which is another reason why we added his new inverter, because he's gonna be powering this refrigerator through his inverter. So those, the big battery bank you saw earlier is what's gonna be powering the refrigerator. So the sun's gonna charge the batteries, which is then going to power up your refrigerator, basically. So that's this part here. You come, keep coming inside here. A lot of this lighting is gonna be changed, of course. And of course the uh, flooring on the bedroom area is also gonna be changed. Like I said, this customer bought this coach I'm reasonably cheap, so he's able to add a few bucks and eventually get what he actually needs, what he actually wants. So this is the back area. So once we go um, and turn around, this is going to be the entertainment area. Can you see that there's nothing in there, there's no TV, there's no audio video system here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be installing brand new TVs with audio video system, um, everything is Bluetooth capable and if we really want we can actually add a, a Wi-Fi system which you can then basically load everything in there or just watch his uh, direct TV or Netflix, anything that's online you can basically do that. So this is basically some of the projects that we do here at OCRV Center. Uh, if you need something like this or even if you have a question about something that we just talked about just give us a call and we'll gladly help you out with this so till next time safe travels see you later